And heading overseas now to Haiti, where police and palace guards are working to restore order around the capital after heavily armed gangs launch violent attacks on key security and political infrastructure in an attempt to topple the government. Now the U.S. military is sending in forces to our embassy there to bring Americans to safety. Our Matt Rivers has been following all the gang violence and this emergency summit that has now been called. So Matt, tell us about Secretary of State Antony Blinken. He's now arriving in Jamaica, I understand. Uh, landed down moments ago for this emergency meeting. What can we expect? Yeah, so what's trying to be worked out there uh, at a meeting with CARICOM, which is the Regional Governance uh, Association of Caribbean countries, as well as with representatives from France and the United States, like Secretary of State Blinken, is a political transition out of this current horrific crisis that we're seeing in Haiti right now. Going back two weeks ago, that's when this rebellion, quite frankly, really kicked off against acting Prime Minister Ariel Henry. These gangs unified in an unprecedented way in Port-au-Prince and have basically laid siege to the capital city, not even allowing Ariel Ariel Henry to come back into Haiti. He had been away on a trip and he's still stranded in Puerto Rico. The question from the gang's point of view is how can he continue? The gangs want him to resign. The international community saying, okay, if Ariel Henry resigns, what happens next? And that's what's trying to be worked out right now uh, with those leaders in the Caribbean right now, trying to figure out if Ariel uh, Henry resigns, who steps over, when can elections be held in Haiti? Remember, elections haven't been held in Haiti since 2016, and the president of that country was assassinated in July of 2021. So let's talk about the man now in charge of one of Haiti's most notorious gangs actually spoke to us about the crisis that they've created here. What concerns you the most, Matt, after hearing what he had to say? Yeah, so I interviewed uh, Jimmy Cherizier, who is known commonly as Barbecue. He's the man who's in charge of this unification of gangs that we've seen. And he basically said, look, the fighting is going to continue until Ariel Henry resigns. He thinks that Ariel Henry is an illegitimate leader and he is trying, in his words, uh, to get him out of office to overthrow Henri. And the concerning part about that is that he is very clear in his statement. If Henri continues, he's, he's going to keep fighting. And we have seen a horrific two weeks of violence uh, in the capital of Port-au-Prince. Innocent lives lost, police lives lost, many gang soldiers have been killed uh, in this fighting. The, the Port-au-Prince capital city has just been ground to a standstill at this point. And my apologies, I didn't realize you were the one that actually sat down and did that interview. We were getting it in uh, just before the show, Matt. It's pretty incredible when I see you sit down with gang members and drug dealers, and um, you really do get uh, that side of the story as we watch cr a crisis like this uh, go down. And as you mentioned, the prime minister is now locked out of his own country. Uh, he's also... Pr facing pressure to resign. Do you have any idea what he will do? And also, you know, what did uh, this gang leader, you know, known as uh, Barbecue, say to you about uh, how far they will push until Henri uh, does resign? Yeah, so we've tried to get some insight into the thinking of Ariel Henry because it seems like the international community wants him to resign. He is a near universally loathed figure in Haiti. He does not have the popular support of the people, of the elites, of these gangs, uh, and yet he is refusing to resign so far. And a, a source of ours familiar with his thinking basically says that he's blaming the international community for not sending security forces into Haiti sooner as he requested back in the end of 2022 to help stabilize the situation there. He feels like he's being made out to be a scapegoat and he wants to be able to go back to Haiti and not live in exile. So he is refusing to resign, at least as of now. We'll see how these meetings play out this week. When it comes to this gang, though, uh, these unifications of gangs, they say that they're willing to push this fight continually until Henri resigns and only after that will they call for a ceasefire. I think we need to take all of those statements from gang leaders who are murderers and kidnappers and rapists with a lot of skepticism, but that is what he told me explicitly. A ceasefire will be begin the moment after Henri resigns. Where this goes from here, though, remains an open question, Kira. All right, Matt Rivers, I know you'll stay on the story for us. Appreciate you, Matt. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.